Introduction to Virtualization Definition Virtualization allows multiple operating systems to be installed and run simultaneously on a single physical computer. Why it matters, by consolidating multiple environments on one machine, you reduce hardware costs, save physical space, and streamline administration. Key components of a virtual environment. Host hardware. Role, the physical platform that powers everything else. Analogy, think of it as the foundation of a building. Everything else, the hypervisor and guest OSES, depends on it. Hypervisor, a virtual machine monitor, VMM. Role, a management layer that coordinates access to the host hardware, memory, CPU, and network resources. Function, acts like a traffic cop, ensuring each virtual machine gets what it needs without clashes. Guest operating systems, virtual machines, or instances. Role, the individual OSES that run on top of the hypervisor. Note, each guest OS behaves as though it has its own dedicated hardware, but in reality, it's sharing the host's resources. Basic distinction, host-based versus bare metal. Let's clarify two main methods of interacting with hardware in a virtual environment. Host-based model, type two hypervisor. Bare metal model, type one hypervisor. We'll look at the host-based model in iteration two and the bare metal model in iteration three. For now, just understand the fundamental difference is whether the hypervisor is installed on top of an existing operating system, host-based, or directly onto the hardware, bare metal. Using a host-based model. A host-based model, also known as a type two hypervisor, is where the hypervisor is installed on top of a full operating system, the host OS. Layers, you have the physical hardware, then the host OS, and then the hypervisor running within that host OS. Interaction flow, when a guest OS, virtual machine, needs hardware resources, it goes through the host OS, which in turn interacts with the hardware. Examples of type two hypervisors. VMware Workstation. Oracle VirtualBox, Parallels Workstation. Each of these tools is typically installed after you already have Windows, Mac OS, or Linux running as your main, host, operating system. Implication of the host-based model. Pros. Easy to set up. Just install like any other software. Good for testing, lab environments, and desktop use. Cons. More layers equals potential performance overhead. Guest OS requests must go through the host OS, which then talks to the hardware less direct access to hardware than bare metal. P takeaway, a host-based type two hypervisor approach is often preferred by individual users or small scale setups for convenience. Large data centers typically favor a bare metal type one approach, which we will explore in the next iteration. Employing a bare metal model. A bare metal model, also called a type one hypervisor, is installed directly onto the hardware, no intervening full-blown OS. This model allows the hypervisor to manage hardware access without routing through a host operating system. Where it's commonly used in enterprise networks, large-scale data centers, or production environments where performance and efficient resource use are paramount. Installation flow. You first install the type one hypervisor on the physical hardware, like installing an OS, but it's actually the hypervisor software. Once installed, you can create and install VMS. All resource management, CPU, memory, disk IO, network, is handled directly by the hypervisor. This leads to better performance and often stronger isolation between VMS. Examples of Type 1 hypervisors. VMware ES11. Microsoft Hyper-V. Citrix XEN Server. Planning resources. Why plan? Because the hypervisor will be dividing up CPU, RAM, storage, and network resources among multiple guest OSES you must ensure the hardware can handle the load of each VM. Practical tip, always at overhead for the hypervisor itself. If you're allocating too tightly, e.g., just enough CPU and RAM for the guests, performance can suffer. Pros and AMP, cons of bare metal. Pros, knee native performance, since there's no extra OS layer. Ideal for production environments and high demand use cases. Cons, not as straightforward to install or manage for casual users. Requires dedicated hardware, you don't typically have a full desktop OS running alongside it.